Hello, 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 hello everyone. Good afternoon. Welcome to our today's Hope Hour 003. And we really thank God. Today is the third edition. Uh, we started this hour last week and I'm happy to host you. My name is Timothy Ndua and uh, I'm so happy and I'm so excited that we can have some few minutes of our afternoon together sharing and uh, talking about the hope that we have in our God and our Savior Jesus Christ. And so I'm welcoming you and I'm so happy to see you coming on board even as we celebrate the goodness and the blessings of God upon our lives. Karibu sana ni furaha yangu kukuona na kuwa pamoja na wewe even as we share some hope from the word of God. Remember the Bible says that some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we trust in the name of the Lord. And so, brothers and sisters, this afternoon, our hope is in the word of God. Our hope is in the name of the Lord God. And I want us to begin our session by having a look at uh, the word of God from the book of Psalms, uh, Psalms chapter 33. And I want to read from verse 1 to verse 22, Psalms 33, verse 1 to 22. And this is what the Bible says. Rejoice in the Lord, O you righteous, for praise is fitting for the upright. Praise the Lord with harp, sing unto him with a satry and an instrument of ten strings. Sing unto him a new song. Play skillfully with a loud noise. For the word of the Lord is right, and all his works are done in truth. He loves righteousness and justice. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. By the word of the Lord, we are uh, what the heavens made, and all the host of them by the breath of his mouth. He gathers the waters of the sea together as a heap. He lays up the depth in storehouses. Let all the earth fear the Lord. Let all the inhabitants of the world stand in awe of him. For he spoke and it was done. He commanded and it stood fast. The Lord brings the counsel of the nations to nothing. He makes the devices of the people of none effect. The counsel of the Lord stands forever, the thoughts of his heart to all generations. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord, and the people whom he has chosen for his own inheritance. The Lord looks from heaven. He beholds all the sons of men. From the place of his habitation, he looks upon all the inhabitants of the earth. He fashions their hearts alike. He considers all their works. There is no king saved by the multitude of a host. A mighty man is not delivered by much strength. A horse is a vain thing for safety. Neither shall he deliver any by his great strength. Behold, the eye of the Lord is upon them that fear him, upon them that hope in his mercy, to deliver their soul from death and to keep them alive in famine. Our souls wait for the Lord. He is our help and our shield, for our heart shall rejoice in him. Because we have trusted in his holy name, let your mercy, O Lord, be upon us, according as we hope in you. Friends, the word of God is clear to us that indeed the horse may not be what to deliver us and our salvation 
does not come from east or from west. It is God who granted us our salvation. And so we can hope in God and we can put our trust in Him. Watani jeso ne watu gyoyo wako Onge gagya, onge gagya Wewe lutirio kiorago gona moyo Ni onge gagya, ni onge gagya Watani jeso ne watu gyoyo wako Indeed, we can hope in Him. Indeed, we can trust in Him. And you know, a time like now, when the whole world is worried, COVID-19, a big, big scare to our land today. We try to look at the mountains. We do not know where our help can come from. We try to look east or west today the superpowers are terrified the nations that normally supply us with the finished products they are all closed down we do not know where else to turn to but according to the word that we have just read our soul waits upon the lord our trust is in God. Some may trust in horses, some may trust in chariots, but Kenya, we trust in the name of the Lord. There's something else that you have seen from that word that is quite encouraging. That the Lord looks from heaven and he beholds all the sons of men. From the place of his habitation, he looks upon all the inhabitants of the earth. He fashions their hearts alike. He considered all their works. And God is concerned with our hearts as a time like now. And you know, it is a great temptation that the people of God, we can have our hearts open for fear and discouragement and regrets and we lock faith and God and his word outside our hearts 
it is the high time we know that our only hope is in trusting in God. Our only hope is in believing in the word of God. That is the only assurance that we have. Somebody said and sang in a song that blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. And you know, I agree with him that even a time like now, blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. And to all those who are not feeling well a time like now, and maybe the doctors have said that there's no room for you to recover, it is so difficult, I want to bring a good message of hope that indeed God is making a way where there seems to be no way. It doesn't matter the kind of sickness that you could be having in your body, I believe in a God who makes a way where there seems to be no way. Let's believe and trust him together for your healing in Jesus' name. There is hope in healing. You could be unwell today, but there is hope because God, he, was suff he suffered that we may be healed. He was bruised, he was wounded, that we may receive his healing. And so today, let us believe in the healing strength of God. And you look at the things and how things are. And you're not able to go to your working place. You're not able to open your business. Maybe you are a um, small-scale business owner. You do some hawking during the evening hours. And today you can't do it. There is a curfew and you ought to be in your house as early as 7 p.m. And maybe you're not even working. Maybe you are earning half of what you used to earn before. And you need to eat, you need to eat, you need to drink, you need to do 
the other things that you are doing before your children you need to give them a comfortable and a decent living and maybe you are asking yourself god how on earth do i survive all this i want to encourage you my brother my sister i want to encourage you that you do not eat simply because you work you eat because you have a father in heaven who supplies to all your needs according to his riches in glory and at some point jesus told the people that do not worry what you eat and what you drink look at the birds of the air they do not sow they do not reap and yet their father ensures that none of them sleeps hungry he went ahead and asked them to look at the lilies of the field the grass look it out the grass of the field it doesn't toil it doesn't moil but even solomon cannot compare to its beauty because there is a father in heaven who clothes the lilies of the field and jesus concluded by asking them what about you are you not more important than the birds of the air are you not more important than the lilies of the field you have a father who will feed you you have a father who will clothe you you have a father who will supply to all your needs and so a time like now my brother and my sister don't you worry put your hope in god put your trust in god bow your knees before him tell him that because he lives you know that you will face tomorrow because he lives you will eat and you will drink because he lives you will have a beautiful uh, future a bright future because he lives you will be healed of that sickness or that ailment because he lives your children will survive because he lives you shall be safe from corona and its infection because he lives you shall be safe in god and we can believe and we can trust in god together and i'm very much confident that because he lives indeed he shall meet our needs he shall provide to all that we desire today in the name of jesus there's one thing that god has said in verse 12 of psalms chapter 33 the blessed is the nation whose god is the lord and the people whom he has chosen for his own inheritance oh kenya we trust god and as long as we trust in the name of the lord blessed is the nation who has put god as their trust blessed are the people who god has chosen for his own inheritance i want to declare this day that you are blessed i want to declare that you are the people that god has chosen for his own inheritance the nation of kenya is a blessed nation we have put god as our hope we have placed god as the one we trust the one we believe in and the one we hope in we have put god our refuge and our fortress we will not fear we will not fear what tomorrow holds for us because we know who holds our tomorrow we will not fear the pestilence that comes during the day the arrow of the evil one because god is on our side our trust is in him our hope is in him we can put our confidence in god and so as i conclude my brother and my sister put your hope in god he is a sure foundation he is our security we look at the mountains where does our help come from our help comes from the lord who made the heavens and the earth he who watches over us remember he does not slumber he does not sleep we can trust in him we can put our hope in him 
We can put our trust in him. We can put our confidence in him. And so we declare this day that our hope is in the name of the Lord. We declare today that our families are sealed, are preserved, are protected by the power of the name of the Lord. We declare today that we shall eat, we shall drink, we shall clothe, we shall survive because God supplies to all our needs according to his riches in glory through Christ Jesus. We make a declaration, we make a confession that we shall excel because we believe in the Lord God Almighty. I wish you God's blessings. I wish you the favor of God. I wish you the goodness of God. I wish you to excel in all you do. May God bless you at the place of your work. May you be preserved as you work from home, as you stay safe wherever you are. I am sure that God will keep you and will preserve you. Be encouraged. Have faith in God. Continue in prayer. Continue remembering your friends. Continue praying for them. Let's continue praying for the world and for our nation, even as we know that God is on our side. And we shall not be ashamed. And we shall not be forsaken in any way. Heaven and earth may pass away, but his word will remain firmly established, both in the heavens and on the earth. And this is our prayer in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. God bless you so much. Motani jeso ne otogio yo wako Unge gangya, unge gangya Ewe luteirio kiura woko na moyo Ni unge gangya, ni unge gangya Wanda ni jeso ne otogio yo waku Unge gangya, unge gangya Wewe luteirio kiura woko na moyo Ni unge gaya, 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 ni un